Hi everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we are going to be making this awesome pop art wig. This is so much fun. It's an awesome hat um, that you can wear whenever you want, but for Halloween it would be so cool to be a pop art uh, artist kind of thing. But anyway, um, the supplies we will need today, you'll need a bright color. Uh, today I am using Red Heart Super Saver yarn, which is worsted weight, size four, uh, medium which is 10 ply and this one is called pretty in pink um, you can use you know bright orange bright yellow um, bright blue just a very neon bright color the, those um, that pop art is really popular with the bright bright colors neon colors so uh, you can use you know neon green would be awesome in this too so use a bright color you need less than a skein so I mean I used probably half a skein in this and I'm making an adult size of the wig here so this is what it looks like and um, we're going to be working with front post uh, double crochets as well as back post double crochets uh, making these ribbed effects here the size hook we are going to use today is a J size hook which is six millimeters so make sure you have that handy uh, you could go down to an I size hook, which is 5.5 millimeters, uh, if you do not have a J hook, but I highly recommend the J hook. You want there to be a little bit of stretch and a little bit of flow to this. So make sure you have that handy, as well as a scissors and a large eye needle for sewing in your ends and cutting your yarn and everything. So uh, make sure to check out the links in the description of this video. I will have the link to the pattern. It will be a free pattern on my website. So make sure you check that out as well as my Facebook page. If you make this in uh, this color or in other colors, and if you want to model it, <laughs> definitely share a photo on our Facebook. I would definitely love to see your creations and your creativity. So check out the links to um, in the description of this video. It will have my Facebook as well as uh, Instagram and Snapchat so you can follow me everywhere but uh, let's just get started on making this awesome pop art wig all right to start out we have to make a slip knot so put your short end over the long end then fold that down and then pull that through and then pull tight insert your hook and we're ready to start so to start off we have to chain four so yarn over, pull through, one, two, three, and four. And now we have to put 11 double crochets in the fourth chain from the hook. So this loop that, count, that uh, is on your hook never counts as anything. So we have to count one, two, three, and four, and we're gonna work right into this chain here. So we're gonna put double crochets, 11 of them. So yarn over, go into that chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, and then yarn over and pull through the last two loops that are on your hook. That's a double crochet. So now this chain of three right here is going to count as our first stitch. So essentially it looks like you have two double crochets already. So now we have to make 10 more. So yarn over, go into that same chain space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, again, yarn over, go into that chain space, yarn over, pull through, Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Again, yarn over, go into that chain space. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, these are double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and you can see I'm working in a circle motion because we are working in rounds. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And if you know how to make the magic circle, you can also do that. Just make sure you have twelve double crochets in the circle, including this chain up three. 
So now we have 12. You can count back. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 is including this chain of 3. And that is where we are going to slip stitch to attach. So if you have to count back or count up your three chains to make sure that you're not slip stitching in the first stitch, count up one, two, three. And that is exactly where we need to slip stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and through. That's a slip stitch. Okay. So that was round one. Going on to round two, we have to chain up three. So yarn over, pull through, one, two, and three. Oops. Three. Don't lose your yarn. There we go. And now, on this chain up three from the previous round right here, we're going to put a front post double crochet around it. So yarn over. And to do that, we have to go around the post. So go in from the right side of the post, around it to the front, just like this. Then yarn over and pull that through. Then yarn over and pull through two loops. And then yarn over and pull through the last two loops on your hook. That's a front post double crochet. Now, in the next stitch, right here, we are going to put a double crochet in the stitch and then we're going to put a front post double crochet around the post. So yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. So we just did a regular double crochet into that stitch. Now we're going to do a front post double crochet around that same stitch. So yarn over, Go in from the right side to the left side around it, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. That's a front post double crochet. Next stitch right here, we're going to put a double crochet regularly into the stitch, just like this. And then we're going to put a front post double crochet around the post, just like this. So we're just repeating that all the way around. So next stitch, we're going to put a double crochet into the stitch itself. And now we're going to put a front post double crochet around it. Okay, so this round is increasing. We are increasing stitches and we are making our dimension here with our ridges. So next stitch, regular double crochet, and then front post double crochet around that same stitch. Okay, next stitch, double crochet into the stitch, and front post double crochet around the stitch. Next stitch, double crochet into the stitch, yarn over, go in around the stitch for a front post double crochet. Okay, so do that all the way around and then I'll meet you up when we go on to round three together. Alright, so I'm just finishing up my last stitch here. Make sure that you do not forget this last stitch by making a front post double crochet around it. So now you should have 24 double crochets, including that chain up three. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And now to count, just count up your chain up three and slip stitch to the very top of that chain up three by inserting your hook into that chain, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Pull tight. And there you have it. So now round three, we are going to chain up three. So one, two, and three. And now we are going to, um, let's see here, double crochet into, so this counts as our first double crochet. And now we're going to double crochet into this front post double crochet. 
So yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And now we are going to front post double crochet around that same stitch. So go back around it. So yarn over, go around it like we have been doing with the front post double crochets and make a front post double crochet around it. Just like that. Now in this next stitch, you may have to move your stitches aside to make sure that you can see these stitches and that you're not skipping any or uh, putting two stitches in the same one of these stitches, of these regular stitches. And we're just going to put one regular double crochet into the regular stitches. Okay, so this is a regular half or a regular double crochet. So we're putting a regular double crochet in there. Now when we get to these front post double crochets, we are putting a regular double crochet into that stitch, and then we are also putting a front post double crochet around that stitch for an increase on this round. Okay? So the next stitch, I hope that's not too confusing. So the first, we chain up three, then we put in this front post uh, double crochet here, we put a regular double crochet, but then we also put a front post double crochet around it. Then the next stitch is a regular double crochet. Then this next stitch is our front post double crochet from the previous row, so we're going to put a regular double crochet into it as well as a front post double crochet around it. Okay, so we're increasing by putting basically two stitches on this one stitch. Okay. So now we're at this point, this is a regular double crochet, so we're just going to put a regular double crochet on it. Then this next stitch is our front post double crochet from the previous row, so we're going to put a regular double crochet in there, and a front post double crochet on there. Okay, next stitch is just a regular double crochet, so we're just going to put a regular double crochet on that one. Then this next stitch is our front post double crochet from the previous row, so we're going to put a regular double crochet in there, plus a front post double crochet around it. Okay, so we're just repeating that pattern all the way around. So again, just a regular double crochet around, or in the regular double crochet, and then on this front post double crochet, we're going to put a regular double crochet and a front post double crochet for our increase. Okay, so at the end of this round you should have 36 double crochets including that chain up one, uh, three at the beginning of this round. Let's see here. So we're just going to put a double crochet and a front post double crochet. Okay, so try not to, it's really, it's really tedious but then um, you have to concentrate so you don't miss any stitches or put an extra stitch somewhere. So just do that pattern all the way around. You should have 36 double crochets at the end of this round and I'll meet you up and we'll go on to round four together which is another increase. All right so I'm just finishing uh, round three here. Just doing my last increase. Make sure that you do not forget this last stitch here because it kind of looks like our chain up three is coming out of it. But uh, don't be fooled. So make sure that you've got all your stitches and make sure that at the end of this round you do count back. That you do have 36 double crochets. And then slip stitch to the beginning of this chain up three here. So you can see chain one, two, three. And then insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through, and pull through. And now we can go on to round number four. So chain up three, one, two, and three. And now we are going to basically do it exactly what we did last round. So in this next stitch here, since this is a regular double crochet, see we're not going to do anything here because this chain up three counts as a stitch. So we're going to go directly into this next stitch here and we're going to make a regular double crochet. Then in this stitch is our front post double crochet. We're going to put our regular double crochet in there and then we're going to put a front post double crochet around it. Exactly like how we did last round. 
Then on these next two, see there's two double crochets here. We're just going to put regular double crochets into each of these. Just like that. So regular double crochet, regular double crochet. Now we're at that next front post double crochet, so we're going to put a regular double crochet in there plus a front post double crochet. All right, just like that. Next two stitches, so you basically repeat that all the way around. So regular double crochet, a regular double crochet, and now we're at the front post double crochet here, so we're going to put a regular double crochet in there plus a front post double crochet. Okay, and repeat. So a regular double crochet in the next two stitches until you get to the next front post double crochet there, which you're going to put a regular double crochet in there plus a front post double crochet. Okay, so at the end of this round you should have 48 double crochets. So I'll meet you up when I have done that. Alright, so I'm just finishing up this round. This is one, two, three, round four here. Okay, and now we want to slip stitch to the beginning chain up three here. So one, two, three, right in that chain up three. Yarn over, pull through and through. All right, so now you should have 48 double crochets around, and you can see that this is really giving that cool dimension, which is awesome. So now, going on to round five, okay, at this point, if you wanted to make your hat smaller for like a child, or uh, even a toddler, you would stop increasing here and just uh, jump to round six of the pattern. But uh, we're going to do another round because I want it to fit my head, an adult size head. So we're going to increase one more round, round five. So we're going to chain up three, one, two, and three. And we are going to do exactly what we did the previous round. So yarn over, go into this next stitch. Do not go into this chain up three here where we attached because this chain up three right here counts as our first stitch. So go into this next stitch right here for a double crochet. And the next stitch for a double crochet. And now we're at the, uh, the front post double crochet, which we're going to put a regular double crochet in there plus a front post double crochet around it. Okay. Now in these next three stitches, we are going to put one regular double crochet into those. So one regular double crochet into each of those stitches. And now we're at the front post double crochet, so you know what to do. Just put a double crochet into that stitch plus a front post double crochet around it and repeat that all the way around. So put a regular double crochet into each of the next three stitches and then you get to the front post double crochet here. So we're going to put a regular double crochet in there plus a front post double crochet around it. Okay. So just repeat that all the way around. At the end of this round, you'll have 60 half, uh, regular double crochets. So I'll meet you up and we'll go on to round six together. All right, so just finishing up this round here. And now we are done increasing. We're gonna slip stitch to the chain up three. Okay, so yarn over, pull through and through. And now we're done increasing, so this is the top of our hat, and um, you know, if you needed to increase it more to make it bigger, you probably won't be able to need to, but just chain up three and just repeat what we were doing with the last rows, just putting one double crochet in the double crochets and then put a double crochet and a front post double crochet around these front post double crochets, and you can increase it to be as big as you want. Um, so that's an easy way to increase around this. and. It looks awesome. So now we are done increasing. So now we're just going to put, uh, we're going to chain up three here. So yarn over, pull through one, two, and three. 
And now we're just going to put one double crochet into each stitch or each regular double crochet. And then instead of putting a double crochet and a front post double crochet around this stitch, we're just going to put a front post double crochet around it. So go in the first stitches and we're going to put regular double crochets in here. And then we're going to put in this next stitch right here, we're just putting a front post double crochet. Okay, we're not putting that regular double crochet and a front post double crochet because we're not increasing anymore. So then continue on. In the next four stitches, we're just putting a regular double crochet. One, two, three, four. And then in the next stitch, we are putting a front post double crochet because it is a front post double crochet. So just put regular stitches in the regular stitches, regular double crochets in the regular double crochets, and then a front post double crochet in the front post double crochets. So easy. And we're going to do that for this round, uh, which is round six. And we're going to do that for round six through 13. So just uh, do that and I'll meet you up when I finish round 13 and I'll show you t uh, how to go on to the next round. Alright, so I just uh, am finishing round 6 here and I forgot to tell you to always slip stitch to the chain up 3 here. Okay, so this is for round 7 through 13. We're going to slip stitch to the chain up 3 and then you have to chain up 3 to go on to the next round. And then just continue your pattern, just putting the double crochets into each double crochet and a front post double crochet around the front post double crochet. So it's that simple. And you should have um, 60, uh, have to, or, I'm sorry, 60 double crochets or 60 stitches around on each round. And that is now, we are on round 7 now, but we're going to do 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And once we finish round 13, I'll meet you up and we'll go on to round 14 together. Alright, so I just finished round 13. You can see here, this is what our wig looks like so far. And if you need to, you can try this on and make sure that this part uh, now hits the top of your eyebrows. If it does not, uh, and if it's too short, you can always add rows. Um, or if it's too long, you can subtract rows. Totally up to you. Um, so just keep that in mind as well. That's, um, you know, something you can adjust on your own. But uh, now, uh, I said we were going to go into round 14, but I meant to say row, because now we're going to work in rows. And row 14, uh, we need to chain up three, one, two, and three. And now, we are going to work in the next 39 stitches. So, this, well, this is counted as first stitch here. So then we're going to just work like we've been working you know, doing the double crochets and the double crochets and then the front post double crochets around the front post double crochets. So just do that and do it in the next, um, I guess, 38 stitches because the chain up three counted as a stitch for a total of 39. So just working just like we have been, just like this. And once I get to the closer to the end here, toward um, the 39th stitch, I will show you what to do next. Alright, so I'm at my 39th stitch. I'm not going to do this 40th stitch because we do not want to work on uh, this front post double crochet here. And if you look at this now, uh, at this point, see there's front post double crochets here right at the beginning, and then we're going to end right at the this front post double crochet and then you have three in the middle so this is the center of your hat this is the center between your eyebrows this is the front of the hat and now we're going to be working in rows so now we're not going to be working into these rest of these stitches leave these unworked and now we're going to chain up three one two and three turn our work so that we're looking at the inside of the hat and we are going to be skipping this stitch here because we just chained up three, so we basically are, have a stitch already in there. So we're going to work in this next stitch here, 
in these first three stitches are just regular uh, double crochets and now we're going to be working a back post double crochet around this front post double crochet so yarn over a back post double crochet is going in from the back around like this yarning over pulling through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two okay so we just did a back post double crochet I'll show you again uh, just do a regular double crochet in the next four stitches okay now we're at this uh, front post double crochet which we made in the last row so now we're going to do a back post double crochet so we have to yarn over going from the back around the post yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two okay then do a regular double crochet in the next four stitches Now we're at that next uh, front post double crochet there, so we're going to do a back post because we're looking at it from the back. So yarn over, go in from the back around the post, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Okay, then again just put one regular double crochet in the next four stitches. So when we're looking at the inside of the hat, we have to make those back posts double crochets. When we're looking at the outside of the hat, we work front post double crochets around those special stitches. But when these ones, in these middle ones here, just put one regular double crochet in these four. And now we're at that special stitch, so we're gonna go do our back post double crochet and just continue the pattern. Okay, so I'll just meet you up when we go on to uh, the next row. Alright, so I'm just uh, finishing up here. You want to make sure that you put your last double crochet in that chain up three that we started out the row with, or that uh, previous row with. Okay, so make your double crochet in that chain three, then chain three and turn your work to the outside. Okay, so now we're going to work on row 16, or the third row of this uh, back part here, the long hair part. So we just chained up three, so that's our first stitch. Now working in the next, we're basically repeating um, row 14. So we basically have to just repeat rows 14 and 15 for the rest of this pattern until we have the hair as long as we want it to be. Again, that part is creator's choice. You can make this as short or as long as you'd like. And um, I'm going to do a bunch of rows here and then I'll let you know how many I did in just a little bit. Alright, so I just finished uh, row 23. You want to end on a row that you're looking at the inside of the hat. Um, so make sure that you end on a row that you are doing that on, on this side, uh, not on the outside. Okay, so I did um, rows, I repeated rows 14 and 15, and I just um, did up to 23 rows. Okay, so the, on the outside, this is what it looks like. Uh, when you do rows, uh, row 15, we did the back loop, uh, the back post double crochets and so it still gives that ribbing look because we did the back post du uh, double crochets and then when we did the even rows, rows 14, 16, 18, etc, we did the front post double crochets so again this gives out that straight uh, line, that ribbing effect still on this side. So keep that in mind when you are crocheting that. But now we can uh, finish this up by single crocheting all the way around. So once you're at this point and you're done doing your rows, chain up one and turn your work so you're looking at the outside. And we are just going to single crochet in each stitch. So single crochet is just working, going into the stitch, yarning over, pulling through, yarn over, pull through two loops. That's a single crochet. 
So we're just going to work a single crochet into each stitch on the bottom of this row and then we are going to work up the sides and all the way around this hat or this wig. So um, you can just uh, follow along. Uh, once I get to the end of this row I'll show you how to turn the corner and show you how to get around the hat and then we will be able to fasten off and finish up everything. Alright, so I'm in this corner here in the chain three. Here we're going to put three single crochets in the corner. Okay, just like that. And now we're turning up the side of this. And basically, wherever your hook fits is where you should put a single crochet. And I suggest a knot working around the stitch, but working into the stitch somewhere in it, not around the posts. Uh, just because that will give big space-like looks and it looks um, a little like gappy and weird. So try to work into the stitches as much as you can. Um, you know, if it's inevitable that you will have to work around a post, that's totally fine. It's not going to make that big of a difference, but you don't want any gapping or any weird looking uh, sides to your hat. So uh, just continue working up this side. And actually, I'm almost to the top here. I'll show you how to turn into uh, the top part of the hat right here. So at this point, you can just work. Now, see how this double crochet is worked into this stitch? We are going to work a single crochet into that stitch. Okay? And then work along this edge, which these are stitches already. So just work along this edge and then do the same thing for the other side. And then I'll show you, once we are ready to fasten off, I'll show you right before we fasten off how to do the end corner and then we'll fasten off together. Alright, so I'm just finishing up here. Now in this last corner here where we put our first single crochet in, we're going to put two single crochets in there. Just like that. Then slip stitch to the first single crochet of this round by inserting your hook, yarning over, pulling through, and pulling through. And then to fasten off, I usually chain one, cut my yarn, and pull it all the way through, and pull tight. Okay. And then we need to sew in our end by just yarning our needle and then going up underneath some of those single crochets on that side or you know in any stitches just underneath some stitches um, that's totally up to you but just sew it in your end okay make sure you stretch it all the way out and then cut the excess off and there you have it there is our wig our pop art wig is all done. So now you can try it on, make sure it fits, and or you know if you were making smaller sizes for kids or something, that'd be really cute. But this is going to fit an adult size head. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to check out the links in the description of this video. I'll have the link to my pattern on my website as well as um, links to my Facebook, Instagram, my Snapchat username is down there. So check out Snapchat. I show uh, behind the scenes footage of things I crochet on my off time. I want to thank our videographer and editor and photographer of our video, Fuad Azmat, for taking the time out to make this with us. But I'm going to go enjoy my wig. I hope you enjoyed it too. Happy hooking!